There we oh come on this again okay <laughs> for some reason obs is having some difficulties with the screen captures and swapping between uh, scenes so there we go just turn it off and on again for some reason that fixes it anyways oh everyone welcome aboard i'll be your captain hillian tonight along with 
I need some mighty detected Drakir at your service. <laughs> as well as. <clears throat> uh, first gunnery made ROM. <laughs> And welcome back to LA Noir for our 12th, 12th stream of this, and possibly the last, because we are getting closer and closer towards the end of the game. Though I wouldn't be surprised if we get at least one more stream out of this, and then yeah, we'll have to see when we can do <laughs> when we can do cross codes with Liz co-commentating. <clears throat> this could be interesting. Now, for now, let's resume. Let me pull up the list of answers for, to the questions. Oh, hmm? what the heck? Something I, wrong? I, have... I basically, I think I may get ready to take painkillers for. I think it's not, but I think I'm getting a headache. Okay. Hope it doesn't get too bad. Yeah, hence why I said I have a painkillers ready. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the I swear also. to God, that is the exact same actor as the poli as the you fat police officer. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, and yeah, yeah we're playing as Jack Kelso, uh, a frenemy to Phelps. Kelso, why does Kelso ring a bell? I feel like I, there's a. Kelso in some franchise that I dislike. Are you thinking of Kellogg's maybe? <laughs> no. Maybe a name that sounds also, similar? Seen, I, I don't think I have not seen a Kellogg's commercial in quite a long time. To the right. Yeah. If, if, <laughs> We are. Uh, we kind of beat the shit out of our boss uh, last time because they're part of a conspiracy to well, screw around and commit a massive amount of uh, insurance fraud so, and other crimes. Yep. Because these buildings, uh, they're made out of. Uh, Prop wood and more probably, aka so much it's far it's hard on it and it all collapses down. Basically, a matchstick house. Yeah, and because they I go hate... up like matchsticks and break as easy. I forgot there was a term, a matchstick house. Okay, is there anything here specifically that they want me to poke at? So I'm pretty sure I went over this thing completely last time as well. Yep. Took my painkillers now. Direction. Hmm? The direction. Let's see. Other page. Yep. Not that. Not, not close the file, the, the blue yeah. one. I think it's latitude and longitude. Latitude, longitude. Uh, let's see. That uh, struck his head. All of that. Uh, didn't we already look up the place and they clumsily bulldozed it? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Didn't we already go there and look that it was bulldozed or were we... Were we pointed towards a bullshit house that had already come down? Hmm. Hang on, let's take the clue. Okay, where are we? Let's see. This is still a house of sticks, I believe. Hmm. Uh, I think there's a date, too. Okay. There's got to be more in these files. That's just the locations and such. Out there. Insured replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty-five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? And that's just one, and there's hundreds of them. Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. 
You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shout of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. For the DA, so I'm that, thinking yeah. you're going not. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Okay, the axe might not be completely buried, but at least it's in the ground. And yeah, Kelso is spitting facts there. It, not everyone can be courageous at all times. Okay. For all intents and purposes, these two kind of hate each other, but they can at least help each other out when the time comes. So yeah, we they have just a common enemy. Here, Hello there. Weren't we just here wrecking the the chandelier? Yeah, you, know, you still what? haven't replaced it. <laughs> yeah, what's a you you oh, you mean the one that's not there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the previous uh, security guard who sat here is not the very same one. Probably shot the, <laughs> shot the entire booth full when that thing came down. Let's see, where's <laughs> land registry? The point, uh, there's literally arrows pointing towards it. Okay. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Okay. Yeah, fraud cases might not be the most flashy or interesting. And, but they are, well, extremely common and they can be extremely damaging. The suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Take a look. Let's we have... See. Standing in sons... Birdo still. Uh, da, 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 suburban, Lemon. suburban. Let's Leland see. Monroe, Fletcher, Bowell, Donald, William, Curtis, Raymond, Dr. Fontaine, <laughs> and there's Shelton. Uh, come on, Shelton. Courtney. For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? He's an idiot. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. 
But Jack, did you really expect him to be able to list it off just from the coordinates? Okay, that's more impressive than I thought. Four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. So there. One hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. That should be that, I think. The lot numbers one eight seven six nine eight eight. Um. Actually, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. If registrations are in alphabetical order, you need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here, use this adding machine. There are ninety thousand entries to a book, so divide your lot number by ninety thousand. Okay, okay, is all of this literally needed? Fucking! I guess they want the paperwork in order. One eight seven six. Okay, write it down. One eight seven six ninety nine nine eighty eight. Ninety thousand. No. Yes. Uh, Reset. Use... Press C. It's a it's a giant calculator. Press C. Okay. Give me a. No, not divides. Okay. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I got the wiki. I'm just gonna get the number. Um, Lagit. <laughs> One million eight hundred seventy-six thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight divided by yeah. ninety thousand. Where's my bully pen? There's my pen. One eight seven six. One. Or are you counting off the total number? It, it's the first number. No, no, no. It's it's the first number. Look, it's the it's the lot number, and then you can divide it by yeah, uh, ninety thousand. Right. <laughs> but One, right now we're going with the lot seven, number. Six, nine, eight, eight. Divided by uh, six, 90, nine, nine, eight, eighty-eight. Okay, I thought they expected to put in the number immediately. Uh, divided okay. by nine hundred. No, wait, ninety thousand. So. 9900 9000 90000 1, yeah okay now pull the lever yeah. really just 20. 20 a starts at 0 so you want to add 1 to your number 21 21 it is that number is your letter of the alphabet once you have the letter for fuck's right sake aisle, you are in okay what's letter 21 of the alphabet you do this every day <laughs> Uh, a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O uh, <clears throat> P Q R S T U should be then. Okay, we're looking for you. I don't feel sorry for the guy. <laughs> Imagine having to sort the, all this bullshit. Yeah, people wonder Let's why people want the electronic. Is. Yeah. After a while, you just don't want to deal with half this shit. Okay, we're looking for lot. One eight seven six six nine, nine eight eight. Okay, so just about here, Randall Jones. Valuation three fifty. Elysian Fields the development. Value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? So nine, 90% of... Oh, oh, come the fuck on. 90% profits with the frauds. You know plump for the caddy? Yeah. The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Okay. They're also gonna try to flank you, I think, because, well, there's like three of the shotgun! Wait, it, it, wait, was that the, was that the clerk? I think that was the bald guy from, who punched Kelso in the face back in, like, <laughs> last case. Uh, I think we okay. skip that scene. Oh, I'm right, pressing the buttons. You know X. No, oh, wait, Can uh, enter. The extra trunk nope. space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. 
One thing I want to point out that's actually rather funny to me. Mm -hmm. In around this time frame, pistols were actually used one-handed. People were taught to use them one-handed. Take, take a shotgun and take out the other two. One of them, I think, has a counter. <laughs> zip, zip. Come on, let me pick it up. There you go. Well, I, I guess both Phelps and Castle got their ruin this place, partially. Uh, we're gonna take that with you. <laughs> you. You did not bring it with you out there, good. I mean, Phelps threw the chandelier down and Kelso shut up the place. <laughs> okay, that is definitely going to attract attention. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. You're an idiot. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney. Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. My God, I, I just realized on. he's an Fontaine idiot and, and his fucking curse. Again, the morphine thing was his Fontaine fault. took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something Mad that's going to help the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. So... Just to completely recap, Courtney is an idiot, and he's fucking cursed. Yeah, and oh. they're setting him up to take the blame when everything burns down, figuratively and literally. <sighs> and yeah, like any doctor, doctors are sworn to AIDS, but medicine can just as easily be poison, or be used as poison in... Also, who yeah. the hell is this? Jack Kelso. Oh, you. Who's it's, asking? It's the guy from Fringe. Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. So totally a trap. Kelso, yeah, and Kelso knows it. Everyone knows it. Pretty much. But Just the thing like... with the trap is, is if you know it's a trap, you may as well spring it with some explosives, huh? Yeah, no or way. in this case, well, we'll see in a sec.
Once the loading is done, that is. <laughs> Appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Yeah, the thing with Marines is yeah. if you fuck one of them, you fuck the lot of them. Yeah. And they I'll know the how to use guns better than you do. Also, here's a fun fact. The three people that Kelso calls for backup are in the last vice case. One of them is the bus driver who got shot at. And yep. two of them are the two GIs that get shot outside the tiny theater. They survived it, as it turns out. Yep. Oh, what? Yep. Come on, show your pretty face. Meanwhile, the, the, other two, the other three are dealing with the rest of them. This is just a complete clusterfuck, like, oh, just... Okay, moving around. Right. Also, gimme. I'm moving, I'm moving, check your fire! Thompson, and this one with a stick mag. There we go. They're <laughs> running for it. Or at least the smart ones are. Okay. Probably likely to get to run out with this thing in a second. So... Might as well use it to the end. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, one of them's going to hell with a cold hand. No hand, with cold hands. All right, man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. <laughs> I wanna... Really? <laughs> I, I can't think... steal their hats. No, you cannot. But also, I... is that a BA? Oh, yeah, that's a BAR. I think you can use it. Anyway, yeah, that I... was a. I guess we're we know where the other ones went. Yeah. We're a district attorney. I don't think that gives us the leeway to shoot up a guy's house. Unless American law enforcement was really different back in the fucking 40s. There it is. <laughs> Immediately lose our hat. <laughs> it's always the damn hat. Pick it up. Okay. Yep. And we're out of ammo, it seems. No. Where is the fucker hiding? And plus, we're, we're dealing with a massive, massive uh, corruption case here. So it's, it's probably better to just kill the bastards and deal with the aftermath than try and then miss one of them and have to deal with uh, the, the system being bent against you by said fuckers. Yep. Just... Uh, yeah, just go through the door. I think... Yeah, try going through the billiard room. Okay, maybe it's just the lighting on these? Yep, just the lighting. Ma'am? Yeah, you didn't run from the gunfire? Oh, for fucks. Oh, bloody knew it. You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, Princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, Princess. How about putting the cannon down? <laughs> I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. <laughs> Monroe, where are you, damn it? Apparently, he's just. <laughs> For fuck's sake, dude. Yeah. What, what was he doing? Was he holding it sideways to us or something there? It'd be funny if he did. You ever think about the fact that these assholes just sort of. 
Like, there's... Like, the raid of the bad guy's house or mansion or whatever has, like... Oh, the gun fires away, and then it gets closer, and then it gets closer, and then See? it's inside the fucking building, and they don't think they just bail out at any point. Yeah, they don't know with how many we are, so for all they know, we've got backup waiting in the sideline. But, yeah, it is probably that uh, they, they typically should do more often, but luckily for us, they're either too dumb or too arrogant, too. Quite the bathroom. Okay, let's just follow the line of corpses and try and see if we find the place we need to kick in. Oh, dear. In the left. No. Okay. Uh, so I think it's over here about the hats. Hmm? I think this is a throwback to the. I think it was a trope a lot in the old movies that people kept uh, losing their hats. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Monroe. Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Straight for the kneecaps. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? Yeah, you deaf? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's, that's that's second just, yeah. offer, you sadistic bastard. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Yeah, and okay, maybe here, if you're lucky, we won't put the, rex, the next one in your other leg. Hey, don't use the safe yet. Don't use the... Yep. Damn it. Like, at least I can back out. Because the news... The last newspaper is in... Well, not the last newspaper, but the newspaper for this... One is in his office. Let's see... Yeah, the, the safe is the big thing... To, ah, there it is, to go for, since... Well, there's literally lights on top of it. Okay. Yeah. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Nope. Suburban Redevelopment Fund promises 10,000 new, home, 10, new homes. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Court. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Court. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. <clears throat> All right, and he's dead. All of your trust now he's showing his true colors. Let them go. I mean, a man that smug can only be evil. Drift away. I'm pretty sure he hasn't said a sincere word in the last five decades or so. Yeah, for, yeah. ever since I saw him, I thought something's up with this guy. Okay. okay right tricking uh, everything. Let's see. You stay quiet or I give you a third offer. 
Uh, I think Let's it's a see. folder. Uh, there's one Can here. Yeah, there's a save. There's a folder. Mm. Let's see. Hello. Morelli. Some sold up. Uh, the others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Uh, yeah, okay, these are like the arson. Names of holdouts and the ones they've murdered. That still doesn't answer why they would go to the links to just murder them since they're already making much of a profit on everything else. Let's see, is it this of any importance? Read. Hmm. Alright, let's check the light. Let's check the uh, city of Los Angeles case. Oh, that's weird. Uh, da -da -da. Criminal intelligence report on Dr. Harland Montaigne. Oh, sounds like someone was uh, putting this squeeze on someone else. Uh, let's see. Fontaine is implicated in the supply and distribution of narcotics in the greater LA County area. In his capacity as a clinical psychiatrist, he has dispensed large quantities of contraband morphine to drug dealers and users under the pretext of prescribing treatment for his patients. Uh, should have guessed. Yeah, we, we all kind of saw that one coming. Yeah, it, it just went from one drug dealer to the other. Only this one had a license for, well, and even then he wasn't using them for that. Uh, let's see, between July 18th and September 3rd, 22 suspects arrested for narcotics possession claimed that the drugs were medications given to them to alleviate the symptoms of various psychiatric illnesses. Several showed paperwork to this effect. No panel was noticed by arresting officers, however, and no further actions were taken since each charge amounted to no more than a misdemeanor. And the suspects were processed across four separate divisions, Central, Hollywood University, and Highland Park. Hmm. I'm, bet, I'm like to bet University and Highland Park would have been like, one would have been fraud and one would have been robbery. Hmm. Let's see. On September 7th, after a lengthy interrogation, suspect Reginald Barkley offered the name of an associate he only knew as Doc Fontaine. She interviewed transcripts. Barclay uh, stated that Fontaine was the selling party in a deal he brokered with Willie Baines Foster, yet to be apprehended. Foster is known to LAPD administrative vice as a high-ranking courier for Mayor Harris Cohen. Of course, it, Wait, it Cohen? just it handed he handed it straight back to Cohen. Yeah. Oh. Uh, on well, August look at the signature. Mark. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. You're sincerely your royal. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's uh, yeah. It, if it's from Royal, uh, Ro Roy, who is a, a royal pain in the ass, that quote-unquote interrogation has likely just been him beating the shit out of someone until they gave him what he wanted, true or not. Uh, August 29th. Wait, hang on. Uh, on September 14th, a shipment of morphine with a street value of $4,000 was moved from a house in Brentwood. When East Downtown Warehouse were going to disappear, sometime prior to that, uh, men's haberdashery on Sunset Boulevard, known to be owned and operated by Mayor Harris Cohen, they all visited. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, let's see. August 29th again on September 6th, and then again on September 12th, Dr. Fontaine visited a men's haberdashery on Sunset Boulevard, a haberdashery known to be owned and operated by Cohen. On all three occasions, Dr. Fontaine was inside for more than an hour, two days after his final visit. On September 14th, a champion of morphine with a street value of $4,000 was moved from a house in Brentwood to an east downtown warehouse, whereupon it disappeared. Uh, I think I know Fucking... who it disappeared to, huh, <laughs> Earl? Yeah. Is the opinion of this officer that uh, uh, Dr. Harlan Do Fontaine is significant? <laughs> We're both reading it at this point, but uh, it's uh, recommended. But yeah, basically, Monroe here was uh, <laughs> was ho likely ordered Roy to frame Fontaine. If this is even fake, if no, it's fucking boy, if it's fake or real, it doesn't matter. It's bullshit, no matter what. Probably. All right. Let's see what else is on the safe. Okay, uh, bonds. 
in redevelopment. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Yeah, blank ones at that, so he could just fill in whatever and he wanted on that. Uh, let's have a look here. Ah. Let's see, Earl, Earl, Sadler, Clamler, Barrett, Sumner, Sadler, Earl, Clamler. Okay, I know one's the Major, one's the DA, and one's Roy Earl. Yeah. Okay, payoffs. Okay, anything else to find here? It can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Yeah, mercy would be around in your oh, head. Put me through the You're going in the dream. <laughs> You're going for the meat grinder. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Form of patience. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Third offer time. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name! He walked into Bugsprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! What are you up to now? Your dead shit. Good luck with the bullet wound. Counsel, you son of a whore! Get me a goddamn doctor! If you shout loud enough, maybe you'll get one. It would have been absolutely perfect if he pulled the cable out of the phone there. Let's see how far you can crawl, jackass. It's... Urban redevelopment fund has been dismantled the old-fashioned way. And hey, we didn't completely destroy the city on the way out. Yep. <laughs> well, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. It was, it was forced travel only. He never drove a single time with this one. Only forced travel. Still counting it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and the last DLC case, a bit uh, clumsily shoved in between here. Nicholson electroplating. Jack. There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. Okay. He's not worried about being caught. How do we My... We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's across the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side of the <laughs> Christ, what was that? Explosion. LA got duped. There's something big. You think it's the Reds? It's the beginning of Fallout. those sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the I think I got an idea of when this KGPL case takes can give us place. It takes place at least after Cold talks to Jack. Uh, yeah. If that was a H-bomb, um, <laughs> you were not talking now. Yeah. <laughs> That <laughs> nuclear bombs would have leveled everything in a few square kilometers. Okay, that was from that car who ran into us. Okay, no, that's a clip. That's a clip. Fucking there. <laughs> there. Open. It, that deselects the game for a sec. Ugh. Wow, this place yeah, I think we found a place. We are literally now in Fallout. <laughs> Already fucking looters. Okay, shoot to kill. It hasn't even been five minutes. It hasn't even been five minutes. <laughs> They're fucking dealt with. 
Yeah, I, I think this is a bit bigger than a fire, but okay. Guess we're first on the scene. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's more people. We gotta find out what went down. Yeah, if this was radiation, uh, we would all... Uh, everyone here would be doubling over vomiting their guts out. Don't get snippy with me. What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. Imagine on, you're man. going to your nine to five, you see a flash, and all of a sudden you're in the early gates. You can afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Yeah, of course, so, the coroner gets so us, beats us to this here. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Practically mm. leveled the entire block. Yeah. Go ahead. We're like really about to reach the end game, so we might as well use our points. Mm, true. We'll save us a bit on running around. And plus, this is basically the last actually investigation case. I'm pretty sure. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. Why? How fast did the mayor up, get sir, here? Oh, well, there's PR before. to get. They basically it's teleport. Yeah, that's true. Maybe goes for me too, son. Sure, yeah, there's a <laughs> fucking party. Uh, no. Probably just Kool Aid through all the freaking balls in the way. <laughs> probably destroying even more along the way. That's just a model. What? Yeah, this more. This could probably be more like hey, forty. Like, I think I got something here. Mm. All right. Mm, hello. Any idea what this like, is? Very large egg cup, a Viking helmet. How would I know, Phelps? <laughs> I put it back together. Uh, let's see. A bit back. Uh, wait, uh, BMW uh, wait. Wasp. Like some kind of machine component, an airplane part maybe. I think it's one of those tips that's on the plane's engine. Could be, yeah. Okay. Could you turn a plane engine into a bomb. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. Uh, probably not the engine, but... Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's not a bottle, it's a shoe. Uh, let's... Superior laundry. Try the laundry tag. Okay, we'll... Wow, well... Phelps! I think I found something over here. Yeah, imagine, imagine being identified because you're a freaking laundry tag. Yeah. Uh, no Indiana Jones in here. Let's see what we got in here. Hello. Camera. Tiny clown camera. Only OSS agents use these things. We need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Oh, great. A bomb and the first clue, big clue we find is fucking spies. Uh, Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Fair. Okay, yep. who the hell is the person who owned this stupid thing? Let's see. Mako Okamoto. Japanese name. Research assistant. Okay, anything on the back? Nope. Okay, what is check. it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? <clears throat> Maybe. I used them in OCS. Let's see. Okay, first letters let's the HSK. The rest of the message should align itself. Okay. Um, 
other way. Let's see. Is that about it? Let's see. KSB. V. Uh, VD. KSB. OJLQ. XSB. Uh, do I have it the other oh, wrong way around or something, or do I'm, re and I'm okay, reading it wrong? Fuck. Okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna prime scene. Airplane pad. Okay. Mm. To decipher, you must first. Okay, align the H and the outer ring with the K and the inner ring. Okay. Then That's put done. the outer ring to the letters of the message. Uh, turn it to K. Oh, uh, this turns it entirely. So N. Then S. N V. N V E. N V E R. Uh, let me just write these down. N V E R. And then J K. M or LK O N uh, Q T and then X as B is that that's going to be Avenue, isn't it? Yeah. Avenue and with K equals to three North thirty one three one thirty three North Vermont Avenue North Vermont Avenue. Okay. Yeah, I I can never tell with such codes if which which of them has to be with, on the upper side and such. And apparently someone liked comics because there was someone in there. I just had a crazy idea. Hmm? Okay, we need to make a phone call. Imagine you wrote entire novel in that code, <laughs> and then have a different cipher for every di for every uh, page. And you need to find the the connection to each cipher on the next one. It, you'd probably entertain a uh, uh, ARG fans with that, but most people would go, "What the fuck is all of this bullshit?" Yeah, you the you book. took it a step further than I was planning. I thought just one cipher for the entire book. But you went to for each page or chapter? Oh this dear. What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Well, a bit more than smoke. Can you tell us what happened? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. What exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, sir. Um. No, uh, you're we're doubt. Also, you you don't want to keep secrets when a bomb went off in the middle of LA, dude. Uh, he is keeping I don't contact, but he is a bit blink and whoop doubt. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm here to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor-intensive. The process could be worth millions. Okay. And yeah, the reason that aluminum and such needs to be polished is to avoid is to lessen air drag and such. The less drag, the less uh, fuel used, so that would be worth a lot. Who is Tomiko Akamano? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Oh, she. Did you know she was a spy? Also, I mean, we literally have evidence that she is a spy. 
lie. You know what I'm saying, lie. L lie, yes. No. That is a bit I of an know. odd one. But it is lie. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? Well, by the, the fact that she has a, by the, the fact that she camera. has a, <laughs> go ahead. The spy camera, or the evidence of espionage, we literally just found in the wreckage of your building. Yeah, like, like, we've seen the size of cameras all around in this era. To have one this small, this must cost thousands of dollars to just make one of these, probably. So yeah. uh, that's that's being done with either major a major company behind it or a major government. How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. Oh, great. No. What can you tell us Llewellyn about Llewellyn? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it is legitimate research. You're hiding something, aren't you? You know where he is. I'm doubtful of you. He doubt. I, I, I need to say this. I think I, f I more and more understand the meme, the meme this game has spawned about extra doubt. Yeah. In this case, it's the two to doubt, but... I, I'm pretty sure... I, I, I could go through the list of all the questions here and line up how many times it's been a lie, truth, doubt. Actually, I'll make a note of that just to put that in here. Uh, Actually, let's see, 57. Actually, we could probably make it a highlight reel of like every single time it's been doubt. If we're done, in every that, case, just like the, the just like the uh, the roulette in binary domain. <laughs> okay, I I'll consider it. I'll have to go through quite a bit, but uh, <laughs> quite a bit no. on that though. Oh, so at least no. I'll put in a number. <laughs> That's the problem for people. If we were to do that, I think that might be a two, three hour long video of just <laughs> all the doubt scenes. Anyway, <laughs> this is the last question, so extra doubt. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist, and his ideas um, could revolutionize uh, electro The entire building not existing is the you would against a whole trained chemist. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks. God six knows blocks? Me. Jesus. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. Likely to be Dr. McClellan. The majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. Well, that's that's damn luck. We still hang on uh, the, 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 after the interview. Yeah, we should probably go ahead and find a find a phone. So let's get the hell out of the blast zone. Actually, two yeah. seconds. I gotta go use the bathroom. Okay. All right. Uh, I do gotta say, yeah, I no. like these old style ambulances. They are hardly as effective as the, uh, the modern ones, but at least they have. Maybe it's just the fact that they are an ambulance, but there's just something about them that I like. Yeah, I kinda somewhat like some of the cars of this era with the whole smoothness and all. But it's kinda comical. For I feel like some of that has returned. For what? Was time we had a smooth run cars like this, then suddenly they became, well, sharp edged boxes. Yeah, and now they're back to the smooth, the teardrop style. Yeah, I, for, I got reason to learn that there's a reason for it. Aerodynamics? That 
Um, to in, in case you get run over, you're less likely to die from it. But apparently, yeah, okay. someone apparently got caught in half for a sharp edge of a car. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I doubt they will be split in. I guess it depends on the high speed and for anger you got hit. I guess it could have done some horrible damage. Yeah, and then there's but, also yeah. just the fact that uh, those ornaments up, up front, if uh, you manage to hit someone standing and they were turned towards you, they'd basically get impaled on those things. Yeah, and apparently I think it was the same reason they Wake up, Cole. made it illegal for how those pop-up lights, you know, those that goes up like a frog eye or something. Yeah. Those were apparently made illegal. I gotta guess for the same reason that people could hurt on them and other quality issue. Like, I, let's be honest, if those pop up lights that just go up and down like eyelids decide to break at the wrong time. Yeah, suddenly no lights. Yeah, or worse, you lift it up and realize there is no lights. <laughs> because normally when you drive out, you would notice if there's a new light and all that. But with those down. Yeah, you will not know until the, it's too late. Yeah. Oh, there's another one over here. But yeah, since Ram is away for a second, uh, <laughs> let's just take a look at one of these hidden vehicles that are all over the place. I thought you I did? thought the one I was looking at at the other corner was one, but no, it was just a general one. Because should be... Okay, it's it's on the other side of this wall here. I failed to notice that there wasn't an opening. Okay, it wouldn't it wouldn't be so much a hidden vehicle if it was visible from the streets, I guess. Uh, oh, come on, need to go all the way around. I somehow expected a Rockstar's logo to be there. <laughs> but wasn't the aid who made this game? Yep. Uh, Rockstar helped. The main developers were Team Bondi on Australian studio, but. Um, Rockstar, basically... Uh, hit, you run past the car. Yeah, it's not these, uh, since oh. the marker is over there. But I do think we'll have to commandeer this one for a second. Oh dear. And also, welcome back, Rum. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. Yep. That was quick. Yep. Unlock the vehicle. Okay. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. <laughs> There we go. Now, where is that hidden car? Is it that one? It looks a bit generic to be one, or is it... It's... Over this way? It looks like go it's in... next to the... That's uh, in here. Yeah. Let's see. Rare vehicles are found in secure lockups across the city. Okay, Mark, look for blue Hill doors. Okay. This one doesn't look that special to me. Didn't watch it be like a million dollar car or something. It's probably it's, 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 it's speedier though. And okay. Relatively rare one. Also, we might want to use the. Uh... Yeah. The game well. Yeah. I mean, here comes Biggs. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Detective Phelps. God damn it. Phelps. <laughs> Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Uh, I just saw something in the background. Look mm -hmm. towards that building over there. Go uh, if, you're, if you're pointing at something, I can't see it. No, I'm trying to direct them. What does the tall building say? <laughs> Absolutely fireproof. Absolutely fire. Yeah. And there's yeah, that smart that fucker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not so smug. Now are you with a bullet about to be in your kneecap? Wait, Anyways. what? Hey. 
remember, this takes place before Kelso goes up to to shoot up his mansion. Okay, so let's give this thing a spin. The roads are clear anyway, so there's not much Ooh. more damage I can cause. You think I one of them is small? She's still alive. You can ask the same question about Tom and Rock and Bottom. I guess you could. You got an answer. Not yet. I'm working on it. This song. <laughs> okay, this thing definitely has a stronger motor in it, I think. It, and probably went one too far here, but I will. But, yeah. Oh, it's that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I think this thing actually breaks better than the others as well. <laughs> okay. Now, before anyone wants KFC, let's go to the laundry map here. Superior laundry, Melrose. 1054. I get the odd feeling when, when, once I finally move out of my own home, I'm gonna have to go and find a lot on that. Probably. What do you need? Have you been been here before? Dumps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Maybe the first realistic response to this <laughs> in the whole game. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, do it yourself. J2620 call. J2620. Hangstrom. Back up. Hangstrom. Someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? The guy from the pickup. No. Dead end. Oh, that's going nowhere. For all your help, sir. <laughs> okay, I was okay, half expecting I... him to say "fuck you." Wait. Wait. Use the phone. If there's a phone there, try maybe calling. Maybe we can get an answer. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hanks Okay. Nothing going on. Thanks, man. So, so fake, fake name. name. Got it. I'm guessing that's either McClellan or her Okamoto. Yeah, I'm Anyways. guessing the first, since the other is a woman. Can you go this one? Bye. Hmm? Yeah. Where are we headed? And you were going to say something else? Nah, just... I mean... Yeah, for a point. So let's go. Let's see, what's this destination then? Is it a meeting place? Like, why the hell would you have an address uh, encoded otherwise? Also, Biggs, consider this car a, a gift for all the bullshit we've dragged you through. <laughs> it's not like someone's going to come and claim it. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Let's see. Oh, hello there. Kamako, Kamako. Well, well. Okay, that's her place. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Okay, why, why would you decipher your... Why would you encrypt your own, your own place of residence? Unless, of course, the message was for someone else? Question then Maybe becomes, well. who? And, and hello. So I turned the place over. Better watch your step. And this is why you don't have your spy meetings at your own place. Yeah. How about another use of the clues thingy? Of, is that a watch? No. It's a. You know what this LAPD is? LAPD pin? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Oh, great. Next Rob cop is cop. involved. Again. <laughs> there's just nothing, you know, there's just, there doesn't seem to be anything happening in this town being, without a bent cop. A part of it's some, oh, how, huh? Yeah, uh, well, someone got iced. You think I could fit in there? I could really? fit in there. 
I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, or something. Yeah. Might as well check the dead guy. Yeah, who the fuck are you? Yeah. James Lindbergh. Very expensive Lindbergh. watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Let's see, it's broken at not you know, eight fifty-five or so, four fifty-four. Could be. Uh let's check to see if he has anything up in his pockets or something. Hello. Oh, wait, what? Could be a right. class ring. Okay. Uh okay, let's see. Does he have anything on his pocket? Uh can't uh, go down to his pockets. Okay, Anything on your face, head. other than a big ass wound? One of the head, one of the heart. Point blank. Okay, play now is executed. So, we uh. have a dead guy, and we don't know who the dead guy is, on the spy's house. Well, because of an in and possibly also a bent cop somewhere along the way. Yeah, a bent ex-cop, not that I have thing that makes much difference and hello there another of these like we have a match <laughs> yeah, hello okay. interesting dame this Akamoto. what is it exactly might be a smoke yeah document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail oh i think i know what those are i Brian think must those are earrings she wears it she puts the microfilm inside puts them back on nobody notices the difference yep Okay. Edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Okay, time to call in CSI 1940s. Okay. Don't think we'll can, we can wait, find much wait. else there. Did, did you really get all the clues there? Yeah, they were all highlighted. Also need to go to the game well might as well actually see if anybody knows anything about that last thingy yeah because we're kind of at the dead end with our leads now yeah, it's all like, like you had a hat like peeing when you went through the door and just walked past something detective phelps batch and that was the corpse passages, yeah that was the dead guy the other door we're on our way in Fix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. The tip. So it's a military tip part. of the propeller. Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. Didn't we have? Didn't we deal with that thing before? Yeah, that was a different goose. Mm -hmm. okay. Either way, we have somewhere to go. You can drive. All right. Where to? Hughes Air. Oh, we're dealing with Howard Hughes's stuff. Okay. Oh, this can only get worse. Spies, the military aircrafts. The military Howard Hughes. Hughes. Gentlemen, can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. Right, so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? I've seen that guy. Working the big I explosion at the electroplating plant. I found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. <laughs> Who is Mapes, and what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuckpads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp? 
Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Yeah, oh, that great. Seems Roy about right. <laughs> Roy Sr. Follow me. Oh, no. Uh, like, I think we can take an educated guess who that pin belonged to. Yeah. Broods. That thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Killing thing. It's amazing. Jesus. Oh. Hughes Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Prototype strategic airlift flying boat rolled by Hughes and aircraft. Do you mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mayor? Also known as the Spruce Call Goose. Learned, Fire away. Two not completed. <laughs> when <laughs> made one brief flight on November 2nd, 1947, and given the thing is still in construction, as we see it, it's possibly still September or October. Okay, Nicholson plant explosion. Okay, well, this is a. Uh... <laughs> Well, the guide is incomplete at the end here, it seems. Because there's no answers on this guy here. So I guess we'll have to wing it at the end. Oh, no. Okay, what do you know about the Nicholson electroplating plant? And don't lie to us, it was literally all over the news. And we were there. about the explosion that happened at Nicholson electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl Wait, I all swear over I've again. seen him. Doubt. Doubt. Yeah, he is being shifty, but besides an airplane part, I don't think we really have it here. So it's either doubt or lie. So I'm I'm throwing it on doubt. Flying blind here, and that was correct. So and you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Yeah, yeah, you get him whores and whatever, who gives Do you, you know shit. you Tamako Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? Wait. And, and doubt again. Seriously, at least do a different face. He knew... Okay, something tells me it's doubtful, he said she, broad, yeah. like, so in this era, I don't think many who will know if that's a, a guy or a woman's name. It yeah. is the 40s, so not really everybody would know, so how do you know it's a girl, because, you know, we didn't say that part. Yeah. We don't have evidence, like we have a pin of a retired officer, but there's not a bloody name on it. I did the same thing when I first saw the plane. I was staring wide-eyed for a full hour. You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them for my days on the force. Did you get just one? Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. Okay, how do you know that then? Oh, come on. I mean, we literally have the prop spinner for one of your fucking for part of your fucking plane. Hmm. Do we throw it on lie or doubt? I'm throwing it on lie. Lie or doubt, I am unsure here. Let's actually uh, use one of these here. House of Community. Let's remove... Okay, yeah, that, make, that makes it. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is, whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? We literally have the parts. Just making quick. Who the fuck was making a cat call there? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. I believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. 
<laughs> Pardon? You mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Want to take a look inside her? And her? Just one Pick. more point for investigation. Let's see. Otherwise, we're probably looking around this place for like half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> That's a point. We only got one institution point. Really? Of course. Didn't you guys say we had stack up a lot to do in this game? Sorry? Yeah, you can only have a maximum of five. Uh, uh, linseed oil. Someone's process was going to replace all this. Huh. Okay, so they use that for polishing the parts, not their knobs. You know, somebody tried that. Yeah, definitely. Don't make me bong you both. It's not even like. <laughs> Never mind. Uh. Crowbar. Okay, I think it's upstairs. Great. Time to get your exercise in, Biggs. Hello. Oh, come on, this bullshit again. We have to go to the Hollow Records again. Probably the most visited place outside of the freaking <laughs> police stations. Oh. oh my god, we do have to do this puzzle again. 76 degrees west. Okay. Degrees, 15 minutes north. Uh, 15. Okay. It looks better this time. For most of it, it is. Kelsus has went way up and down. Uh, wait, that weirdly old uh, spinny thing is. Degrees west. Yeah, this thing doesn't go down far enough. It seems. Okay, let me put it this way. Oh, 24. I, I read yeah. that wrong. You have to push it a bit so that it's exact, which means... Let's see where this is exactly. To the Bahamas? Okay. Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Okay. Why the heck do they have this on board, though? Probably do know where the fuck you're flying. Okay, two more to go. Actually, now that I think about it, I think we've heard about this thing before in the game, but I'm not entirely I... sure. It's been it's been twenty plus hours, Toad. Be right back. Need some water. Okay. And... Rom, make sure he can die. You... Hello. Okay, kill a hill again. Got it. <laughs> no. Out of Pratt, no. 360. Sure <laughs> is. I know. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the props? But... <laughs> We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. Okay. Screw that off. Oh, what hello. Is what is the oily covering on the metal? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil preserved from oxidization. Okay, so that's what it's used for as well. Okay, but ours was lacking that, which makes sense. Looks like Mape's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. Okay, Mapes, what do you have? Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thank you. But yeah, the entire thing about the process was it was it was yeah, was that it was supposed to make the linseed yeah, obsolete. So that makes sense that, well, they're still trying it. Uh, hello? Picture one. That is Marie the Body McDonald. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Okay, there's a partial hey, let's... address. Wait, what? Second Street. Let's find the other picture. Is there a way to flip it? Press X. No, that's I... not it. Let's see. Yeah, can't investigate oh, it further, it seems. Was her hmm. nickname... Did they nick her 
name her dead body. Yeah. He's probably done what kind of nickname is that? The one you get once the list runs out and while well, you have uh, a good body. It still the sounds the horrible. Thanks for the tour, yeah. Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? Yeah, yeah so that's half the city. That German boy. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy for it. No, hello. Hi, Dip. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. And Big's sticking up for us for once, huh? <laughs> okay. I swear to God, I've yep. heard that song in Fallout 4 so many goddamn times. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, hey, there's wrong. our car! There's you there. drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, okay, let's go to Wilshire. Exactly are we going? Yeah. Info... <laughs> Info first. <laughs> now I'm wondering if we could have nicked the military car over there. So McClellan we probably can. New process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. It's that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. We would have killed him yep. and stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, Someone like Babes. The word middleman was invented. Biggs is enjoying his new car a bit too much, I think. <laughs> okay, Pinker, what do you have to show for us? Oh, back to old haunts. Sure, we actually started the game in Wilshire back in Patrol. Okay, down we go. Parker. Apparently nobody recognizes or acknowledges Phelps. We're at least starting this the second one. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down one round. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Uh, you, you still had someone fiddling with the corpses, so... Uh, <laughs> Don't get dude. yippy with me, please. There. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote That's me true. on it. But I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use my the God, magnifier. it's Phelps. There's my God, he's a spy for the Russians. <laughs> Wait, what? Funny. Yeah, I remember right, the, right? the microfilm when hand. Phelps opened it, it flashed. Take a nice photo, Phelps. <laughs> yeah, next one. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the freaking more guy. Were, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Bringing the watch for a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Okay, so they're working for Lockheed. Okay, what next? Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I think you, <laughs> I think, yeah. I think you put the X a bit too early, yeah. Phelps. A dirty <laughs> ex-cop. <laughs> Yeah. And now wait, zoom, zoom in, zoom in. Look at the tie. Uh, can I get the neck? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, yep. Order. There's one of those. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Well, yeah, that doesn't look good for him. Let's see. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, it's a mm -hmm. good place to hell. Due to the chemically unstable nature of the above mentioned compounds, I'll do uh, something. Must be taken monitoring the temperature at which the solution is kept. 
prior to your immersion, the aluminum alloy uh, pieces uh, must be cleaned, Just preferably clean. either by organic solution of the halogenated type or in an acid alkaline solution. Mm -hmm. Work pieces then. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so those things have to be spotless before the process, and it had to be done under specific temperatures. And hello there. Is this McClellan? Yes. Can anyone Hang make up. out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? Look up. With my eyesight. Right. Let's see, West. Okay, but there's plenty of West places, though. That house looks similar to the, the one in the photo we found on uh, his desk, huh? Let's see. 9341. Okay, so we have. A, that's about it, it seems. Okay. Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the petri dish. Uh, um, why is he hiding? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Acids. Acid. Then linseeds. And whatever this is. Jesus. It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumping from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple of years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff. Uh, the oh, I think so. Acetic and nitrite is almost left. as explosive as nitro. And when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. But you could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah. And they were using a hundred gallon vat. Okay, so that's how everything went to hell. They just fucked it up and, well... In the hole, we discover it's a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of yeah, espionage going on. <laughs> also, he, he just came in only for that. <laughs> I got the jitters again. Okay, Asshole. let's go. Find the... uh, yeah, I, I want to I, I wait. Why is that guy hiding behind the desert? Wait, is he going to ambush or something? No. He, he knew what the doctor was doing. <laughs> and to cover. <laughs> Okay, oh, on, let's this crap thing car. again. Oh. Yeah, well. Yes. You know the way. Get in the car. We're going to the. the... the... Oh. 930. Oh. Wait, he, you, don't tell me you didn't notice you already switched back to this car a while ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, but he, Biggs were driving badly. He was not driving that special car, he was driving this one. I guess he has his thing for his own car, huh? Nostalgia and some costs. Uh, what kind of building or I don't oh. like these buildings. Doors open. This place stinks of petroleum. Uh Av gas, if I'm not mistaken. It's all around the floor. Yeah, there's a bit more than that all uh, around wait. the floor. Av gas? It, it sounds like a Swedish word. Of course, this is exhaust fume. Okay. Okay, so we got an entire trail of gas here. Uh, we want might want to open up a window, or all of them. Just and... ima try to imagine oh. that stench at the moment makes my nose twitch. Uh, you <laughs> might want to pull the. We might want to close this thing off because there's already gas everywhere. This place is basically one big petroleum bomb or something. With how that stuff aerial slices. I you know. oh. Let's see. Passports of who? To Oscar Hangstrom. Uh, Esker Hangstrom, wife of Angelica Hangstrom. Okay. 
Black hair, brown uh, eyes, uh, chemist. Okay. Uh, See, that not valid for traveling. Things from the McClellan are the same man. That's McClellan. Okay, so he's going to do a runner. Okay, great. He's dead. Let's take a look at the ticket. Where he was planning to take a runner. And... To the Bahamas. Angstrom was flying today on TWA. Angstrom is dead, Paul. Why leave your ticket behind? Maybe he's cleaning up. And... The gas, the gas tank. He, it, oh, oh, come on! Things on over in the next place. Uh, okay, good thinking, Biggs. <laughs> Don't let me through. Oh, there you are, sit. Shit. Come on, he's not getting away from us. Come here, you. Uh, and of course, a slow car gets in our way. This way. Step on it, huh? Those are light versions. Of course, we just clip the corner. At least these. <laughs> at least we're not running through it and leasing fuels work. Again. Because otherwise, that thing would have come down instantly. Yeah. <laughs> Used to spur traffic light. Uh, uh, shut up, Biggs. Oh, no, 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 I think he's challenging you. Oh, who can break the biggest thing? You drew a, a, a mailbox. Mm -hmm. You drew a blood... the... street lights. But you did run over a... Uh... Uh, uh, hello. So, whatever those road... red... Uh, uh, green signs are. Traffic light! There we go, something, traffic light. <laughs> really? Also something, something returning to the scene of a crime? Oh, come on. Just press it and stop punching. Shut up, Biggs. And there's another one. Okay. Shooting. Yes. Yes. Wait, uh, fuck off. Uh, of course, you're really driving around in military cars. Really? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, We're being shot at by the military. Again? Yep. Well, this time it's our own military. Go figure. As if Phelps didn't have enough problems dealing with the military of one country. <laughs> Humphrey country. Now he's has beef with two of them. Yeah, hello, out of the frying pan. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, hey, Cole. Tires. We're gonna shoot every, and they're all military police for the record. We're gonna be, this is gonna be one hell of a thing in the fucking, in the goddamn news. You might want to pick up a gun from the dead guys, at least. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Throw out the guns. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not going to look good. Because, well, they have, full, they have full reason to be shooting at us. It's, well, we literally just came storming into a military site. Only problem is, their boss is, well, a traitor. So, yeah, they, they are literally just throwing their lives away for someone who has betrayed them. If these aren't just flunkies pretending to be. If they are, that still results in stolen valor and that can get them arrested. Okay. I just imagine, like, in between Kelso's bullshit and the Hollow Records, Phelps is dealing with this. It's going to be a busy news day, that's for freaking sure. Also, time, I guess it's time for a goose hunt. 
because we're going to shoot this thing up like it's a... <laughs> There we go. I'm going to need to swap this thing out in a sec, I think. I think that's explosive on the side. Mm -hmm. Oops, and someone has a bigger gun. Oh. Someone up there has a big gun. Is that a that bar or is this a stationary machine gun? Might be a See? Oh, it might be Mape. Oh, I fucking know. I'm not sure I've seen that happen before. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the sheet heal is all the way up there. <laughs> Give me that. Okay, now to get out of his firing line. And so he's just an absolutely terrible shot. Okay. <laughs> now where's the ladder? Is, is there a ladder? How the fuck did he get up there? Oh, go wait, I think. Oh, yeah, go inside. Okay, I thought I saw a ladder here, but no. Might be in the other one. Uh, I guess we better hurry before Biggs gets shot the bits. Or can I get on here? Nope. You're gonna go back. Wait. There we go. Just shot and shoot his hands off. The, well, today's gonna be a long news day. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Somehow <laughs> resolved the space thriller by accident. Uh, and we missed one clue, it seems, okay? I was and right, there was something you missed in the house. When you, and when you a were, lot of you damage. The priest, but the, you know when you enter the room to get those earrings? Yeah. yeah. That's where you uh, heard the pinging sound. Yeah, but that's where a point of interest is. We used uh, a bit of intuition to have all the relevant clues marked. Oh. Well, and Okamoto may never be heard from again, but neither will be Vernon Mapes. Yeah, we have no clue what happens to... Well, at least one of them likely went up and ended up as a scorch mark on the wall. Maybe two of them, since her briefcase was there. So at, at least she is probably dead. McLennan was probably just... Yeah, if, if Mapes didn't get him, then the explosion did. And all, all of... <laughs> All of this and discovered just because one idiot fucked up his own process. Yep. Uh. And now for the last two newspapers. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. Mm -hmm. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much. A different lately, kind of Elsa. war. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger, and it's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. 
Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to give up. And what is that? In my case, Lou, he went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, that Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on that case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. The doubt. The doubt. Just all of it. Just press X. All of the doubt. No, actually, all of the lie. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Uh, for, for a psychoanalyst, he's a fucking loser at lying. Yep. She... Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed a conversation. No! Well, shit. Oh, so oh God, that was worse. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. Mm -hmm. I think you were looking in a mirror, dumbass. Yeah. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. The next line. And Donkey Kong runs off with the girl. Oh dear. And so if I got a bit loud there. Yeah. This is gonna be a long case. Also, it's black for some reason. I think it's loading. There we go. No, the game got deselected again just at the moment of a transition. Uh. Final case. A different kind of wolf. Why don't we just finish it in one go? Because that's be all we places. really got. This is the last case for LA Noir. We can go long, yeah. This, this one shouldn't be too long, anyways. Maybe half an hour at max. The arsonist is a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. Oh, right. I, for <laughs> I forgot you can check the case notes and they will actually write stuff down in those. Okay. Well. We have places to look for, and we're still That's bleeding, it seems. Rapid Oops. exterminators. We were supposed to be going there. Okay. All the way from there we go. Let's hear a... uh, you might want to get a bandage, Kelso. Or at least a band-aid. Something to stop you from bleeding to death in your own car. At least wash your hands. Like they're going to look at you weird with blood on your hands. And, and there's the new, there's you. the penultimate newspaper. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. That's yeah, crusade, crusade against corruption. corruption. Peterson pledges. <laughs> Peterson pledges to clean up LAPD. The system district attorney makes push for top jobs. Cites sorry states of advice squad as motivation. Oh, so that's where they put yeah. Sheldon. 
What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. Time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Shelton's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Let's be honest here. Who hasn't wanted to pull a gun on Roy's face? Yeah. The only thing people want more is to just pull the trigger. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the Fallout song again. Okay. Nuclear bug and rodent control. I'm pretty sure you don't want to irradiate your house just to get rid of the vermin. Yeah, you don't want any of the fallout falling in there in my theater. Yeah, <laughs> that just... was just perfect. <laughs> I mean... Welcome uh... to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. That's now, that was quick. Didn't you ever hear the... of Okay, last guy. Because we gotta fucking find somebody involved in this clusterfuck. Uh, well, that's like that's pest control. Third time to charm, or third times the charm. Okay, we constantly get odd odd men out on the movie thing. Dan Phelps is definitely one of the odd men out since he's one of the few not corrupt cops in this place. Uh, hello. His biggest problem was adultery and. I That's about the it. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Uh, finally. Trivantain surgery yesterday. <laughs> 6 p.m. Wait, does that mean... Oh, right, yesterday, and Kelso was having this shit. Does that mean that this it. takes place What's after the entirety me, of the Dr. Dr. electroplating? Dr. prominent shrink, dead in his patient's room, spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Okay. The newspaper should be on Fontaine's desk. The other desk. Yeah, there. <laughs> Something to see there, but... Okay. Give you and the doctor some privacy. Right, come on. The face of progress face. is mayor of developer Leland Moreau. <laughs> yeah, but better they show only his face because he's probably going around with a limp. Yeah. <laughs> that goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep the voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. 
we only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benz. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jim Kelso. And how did that go for you, jackass? And, y and you know, one of you is dead and the other's got a limp now and is going to prison. So that mm. went well. And that is the last newspaper in L.A. Noir. All right, yep. time to see the dead guy. Yep. Hello, what have we here? I ate. I ate. Not yours. Still works. Mm. Right. Okay. okay. I'm guessing he took it off uh, his attacker. I guess that's not his initials unless he's the next one who has a fake ID. So much for your foresight, Doctor. It kind of looks like an eye now. Yeah. It, I, I thought he was to hit her with a discus or a plate. And then I realized, oh, no, it's a damn ball. Yeah, because he wasn't going to be playing ball with Elsa connecting the dots. Okay, Just... <laughs> since I, ha I have a walk it open. Wait, 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 wait. There's a, there's, on the small desk, there's a paper. The other small desk, the one we went through in the other room. Mm. And also... How many desks are there in this place? Whatever. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Properties you wanted accounted for. Uh, visited everyone and surveyed. Harlan Fontaine. And of course, it'll freaking Elysian. Mm -hmm. Morale, Daniel. Started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. So, it's... the entire homicide thing that thing that got us into this cluster fuck the deaths of people was an accident right. yeah Sawyer Morelli let's read that what it says there yeah this was not our arrangement you, your associate is overstepping his mark get him under control or we'll take every, whatever action is necessary okay well that's a direct link between those fuckheads Okay. Anything else here? It's a wrong button. Look at the neck. Look at the dead guys. Yeah, no, we do. I think we do have a full set of intuition points. Check it. Yeah. How, how did that happen? Did I they just give us a bunch to, <laughs> because it's the last one? I think. I think it's more because we've been collecting them Destroyed and by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Yeah, I think that deals with a dude called yeah. Frankenstein. Yeah. It's hello. The doctor has been marking this map. Yep. This trick okay. again. Yeah. That looks like a freeway. Let's see. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Carson Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Because those are the locations where the buildings burned down, geniuses. New houses, all being built in the path of the freeway? 
Oh, great. So even on top of just the, the building scam, because they have because they were in league with the mayor, they knew about planned infrastructure and knew that a, a freeway would be getting built. And uh, yeah, they buy out on real high pricing with that. They burn down the houses, <laughs> buy out or buy out the houses. And thus we have, well, all of this. Great. So just a scam on top of a scam and a scam. And apparently we still have more to find in here. Montaigne was having the houses burned from Monroe. Okay. I'm guessing that was the bit. Yep. Uh, hello? Oh, uh, look. The morphine. Army morphine. Oh, that just ties everything together, huh? Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. There's another... There's even more boxes full of this shit. Ugh. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Okay. Ranch bunkhouse today. BM, it's gonna be a long night. We have a full five points, so we might as well use the intuition. Yeah. Well, now well, we have four, but you get what I mean. Well, oh, crap. I guess uh, he was just bunking here. Uh, what's the word again for it? Very likely he wasn't living here under actual ownership of it. Guess nobody's home. He was crashing in the place. Look, the point yeah, is this place looks like serial killer's home. Oh, yeah. Okay, flamethrower. This guy's bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Great. Okay, yeah, let's pop the intuition. I'm guessing it's paying us back a bit for all the previous points that we, uh, wait. Show up? Okay, not an option. Okay. Weird. Maybe Kelso cannot use it? Or maybe there's just not much to find here. Maybe. Nice little fireplace, though. And hello. Got me cranes. I think if I remember correctly, there should be a picture of quite a flock you got here, kid. A strange obsession. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect ninety-five percent of all clues. And the, the glowing bit, the glowing bit around the achievement tells that less than ten percent of people have gotten it. I think. I think during yep. earlier stream at some point I said it meant less than five percent, but I think it's closer to ten. And hello. Uh, this smug wreck. And they gave those out only to the people in the houses that were. Yeah, in uh, the way. Take a look at the pictures. Let's see. Right side. Uh, ah, there. Mm. Well, hello. Jesus. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. That's Phelps' squads. He's right there in the oh. middle next to the big guy. Oh, I figured. He was the big guy with the flamethrower, wasn't he? I think so. Looks That's like it. Anything else more? 
Uh, of course. The time the delayed fuses. Okay. Uh, anything else here? Yeah. Poor squatter, he was living pretty decently. And yeah, that's the word I was looking for, squatter. Squatting. Yeah. Don't think that's going to be of importance. I mean, he was probably trying to fix a flamethrower. Uh, Did we just leave the house? Okay, what else is there to find? Uh, I think there should be something. Okay, why won't it let me use one? And yeah, we've reached maximum rank at level at level twenty. Oh, oh of course. Thompson. So he brought back a freaking flamethrower. And um, wait, they don't use Tom. They, actually, did they use the Thompsons in the Pacific Theater? They use Thompsons. All right, I thought they were, they were supposed to be military weapons that never got sent out. Yeah, no, the Thompsons were sent out early. The later on, we're faced, with, we're faced away with grease guns because of the expense of the Thompson compared to that of the grease gun. You still see them being used, but they were being used less and less as the war went on. Okay. Let's kill... Okay, what are we missing? It's not like we're going to find Elsa in here. Not that easily. Unless he dug like a dungeon underneath this place. Okay, seriously, what Thanks. am I missing? Also, uh, just the, the gun just laying there. No, another cigarette packet. He must have been smoking quite a lot. Oh, hello. Huh. Okay. Five bucks says that this one's been modified. Yep. No bad. Uh, there should be something. I vaguely remember a paper? Or not a paper. Um, a blueprint on the work area. I think it's where the flamethrower is. Um, uh, we've, we've passed our typical time uh, stopping point. But yeah, we're we're really close to the end. So let's see, we can't interact with it any further. Right behind you. The, uh... Nope. I'm a pick or saddle. Okay, what are we missing here? Okay, no, no, no. Get to the get to the origami room. There should be a map in there next to the mm. crane. Uh, ah, yeah, the this? giant blue one. It's it... the river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Okay, that that would explain how we would be able to get around more. He's he's oh using the God, sewers. Myra. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Yeah, Ira Hogaboom. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator, Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. A delayed reaction much? Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, you see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. The A's investigator, Jack Kelso, reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the Alley River Tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, I'll do that. What the hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. 
Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso, described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. Oh, great. So, okay, so we've gone from shooting possibly crooked members of the military to a car chase with crooked members of the LAPD. Uh, well, here we go. One last chase in the cars. One to hold themselves. Yeah, and another one. <laughs> we might not even have to do anything here, but now driving that badly. Jesus Christ. How many cops are these guys? Currently they own half the LAPD at least. You nailed him, now drive. Fuck uh. off you. Uh, of course. Uh, also, how, why the hell does the chief get the call? Uh, nice going, bozos. <laughs> That's why the hell does the so chief get the call if someone is armed and dangerous? They are not anywhere near the place. Woo, boy, that guy flipped. And also, I think Kelsey's car got some good damage. Yeah, of course. Right, we're now at Blues Brothers territory. Oh, no. Who do you two stop singing? <laughs> And yeah, I think at this point uh, our careers are as good as over. <laughs> this is gonna be the strangest bus in the history of ever involving the DA, the LAPD, and possibly the United States government. Yeah, at least we shook the damn. Yeah, the, yeah, at least it looks like we've shook yeah, them off. Ooh. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, hey, I remember this place back in uh, traffic. Who is this remember guy? the Peterson, consoles car? Assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. Stop right where you are! Got it, got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? You're working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new groom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? Was me? Did he sound a bit weird? Yeah. Also, we are now shooting every crooked cop in the entirety of the LAPD. <laughs> okay, he just Next. he just danced into our firing line. Except for Roy Earl. He's the one oh, cop who apparently decided to skip this one. Uh, finally showing some intelligence. Also, yoink. Wait, there we go. Oh, I forgot. I think you grabbed the pipeline or something. Like, I'm 
Lead pipe. There we go. <laughs> Put one in his knee and then shoot his hand off. Uh, shut up, you. Let's see. This is blocked. So, so this way. That way. Nothing to see here. Not yet, at least. It... And I'm guessing Ira had a spare flamethrower. Just missed. Yeah. Really? Yeah, just use a flamethrower in the sewers? Uh, well, I guess as, as long as they keep it dry, it should work. Oh, I read more. Recording you. How much flammo things might not be in the sewers? Well, not too people. many, I. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, I know. I know this city is this city is full of shit, but uh, I don't think they produce that much methane. Well, it could be a lot of things yeah. that's flammable in the sewers. For wait, there's a flame door here. You, just, you, you only know you can guess how much stuff that has been dumped Thank into you. the sewers. I swear to God, I vaguely remember there being a flame thing. It's just an entire fucking stockpile. Just how many fucking guns did they pull off that ship? Barely half the stock. At, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if they ran off with part of the ship itself. Like the fucking bow is missing. Keep on going, Jack. <laughs> yeah, the flamethrower was in that room that you picked up yeah. the gun. Well, I think Ira is doing enough work with his own. Also, but that means he smuggled three of them out? Just how many weapons did he shove up his ass when he got off that ship? <laughs> okay, we kind of need Ira alive, though, since he's basically the only one left in a talkable position. Just to put the... Oh god, this is gonna be a long news day, because yesterday there was a shootout of the Hall of Records and an explosion and Nicholson electroplating involving Howard Hughes. And at this and rate, Advice is going to need to refill half the squad. Yeah. Okay, and we lost our hat somewhere. There it is. Yoink. I just realized there are two people here who never lost their hats. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. Hmm? It's you and me, Rob. I know. No wait, oh, that. No wait, I think that's where you can get the flame going. That's it. That's it. Mm. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't fucking know. Anymore. That time to reload. Yeah, this is the first room, I think, is where you get the plane room. Yeah, there it Hello. is. Hello. <laughs> Yoink. Uh-oh. Okay, seriously, how did he smuggle all of this out? At this point, I'm fairly certain that fucking height, that we should just be looking at the morphing height, but also, you know, an arm deal. <laughs> Do not... Uh, okay, see where the bridges are? Walk, walk up those. Uh, yeah, because there's probably no, <laughs> nothing on the sides of them. Also, oh, this is a bad spot to be in with only a flamethrower. Yeah, we it doesn't reach that far. <laughs> it's good, but it does not. Also, if if I saw someone shooting coming at me with the flamethrower, I'd fucking run. <laughs> no amount of money is worth getting crispy fri fried <laughs> like fucking KFC. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, time to light this place on fire, huh? Here to you.
He was just out of reach from there. Yep. Oh, and we lose it. Oh, quick. No, actually, no, we're just a bit ahead. No, we're just too wound. We can still get the flamethrower again if you want to. Okay, that, that's a big, that's quite a big rewind, actually. Yeah. Okay, no flamethrower then. Yeah, see, there's the room with the flamethrower. I wonder if I should take a moment to brush my teeth. That. Or are we that close to the ending? Yeah, we're actually close to the ending. This depends on how long we need to fight through this place. It's a sewage filled with every jet, every corrupt LA cop in history. <laughs> okay, so basically, don't, no need to bother finding the bodies. Not really. <laughs> At the point we're at, we're just gunning everyone down. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> we're kind of, yeah. we're kind of lucky that we're not getting washed away here. If, if this water was going faster, Jack would be, uh, well, down Shit Creek, not up Shit Creek. Yeah. Also, I just realized I'm not even Jack. Probably gonna have to get some really good health insurance because we're in a sewer and he still has a bullet hole for an arm. Yeah. Then again, I think at this point he's probably as likely to get health insurance as Jackie Chan, as in not a not a chance in hell. Also, how many buckshot rounds can you take? Really fun. I know shotguns are not that good at range, but even at this range, they should be able to get a good hit on. But also, I know they should have about 8 meters deadly range. Yeah, the shotguns would have a more realistic range on Also, the... Just did someone lock you in the there? I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing a corner. You... <laughs> okay. He what? somehow managed to lock himself in. Okay, uh, this way? Just follow the crispy? Mm. Yeah. Not jumping that. Uh, which way to go? Turn around, try going not there. Okay, left. Uh, this is going out there, there I'm guessing. I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Uh -huh. Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Kelso! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. I don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. Oh. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. Okay, there. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. 
and I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Back to the... What do we do, Lieutenant? But Jesus, look at all the Stop kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. I want to point out, out of Ira pain. was clicking no, the voice door, it was empty, so he was about to burn every one of them. Just to kill Felt. Yeah, and that was Court no, was Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> he shot him, Felt gets out of the war, and becomes an LAPD officer. Everyone out of here now! Double time! You two get Lieutenant Felt to an aid station! Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Yes, Phelps' fuck-up is the entire reason the plot of the game happens. He killed that man! He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this great hurt! The water is rising! First, hand her up. Get out of here. You're not here. I'm not arguing. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Fine. You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend.
And that was L.A. Noir. Yep. A noir ending, the ending ain't happy. Phelps died. Earl is the one who gives the eulogy at his funeral, though it seems he was cleared of all the charges of adultery. So at least there's that to look forward to. And yeah, the new DA cut a deal with at least some of those involved. Yeah, it looks like they threw Fontaine yeah. under the bus for it. To be fair, he, he already threw himself under the bus and then got hit by it. Yeah. The, DA, yeah. the new DA just basically made a deal with, I think, the chief of police and the mayor to just nail everybody else involved in the case. That is, well, the mayor, the DA, well, the mayor, the chief, and Earl. Yeah. So it's likely that their scam still worked out in their favor, that they probably had to <clears throat> cut in the new DA. So yeah, even the new broom got shot on right away. Yeah, <sighs> and the freeway's still there. Yeah, at least the burnings have stopped, so there should be yeah. less deaths. Mm. On the upside, we've managed to accidentally stop the Black Dahlia. We've successfully shot up enough mobsters that I'm fairly certain LA is going to be a bit clean for a bit. We killed yep. at least 50% of every corrupt cop through a sewage. And we've managed to somehow uncover corporate espionage to an impossibly stupid level. Yeah. And I'm guessing the DA is probably going to keep Roy on a tight ass leash, hopefully. With any luck. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'd like this ending. It's a noir ending. It's not supposed to really be happy yeah. as much as at best bittersweet. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, uh. Also, I was clued into a bit of wordplay thanks, you know, thank, yeah, thanks to the TV Tros page on the, uh, on this game. Because uh, Noir doesn't have an E on the end, but what does have an E on the end is the French word black. And if you remove the point, the dots from LA, you have La Noir, the black in French. Go figure. Yeah, the, the female version of the wording, at least. Okay, I always thought this name spelling here has always been a bit weird. But I, I, I've seen no spell before, so I always been wondering why is it spelled an E here? <laughs> I thought that maybe there's a variation or the correct spelling or something. Yeah, I think I actually mentioned that back when we first started that. <laughs> Noir with E is the female version of just the word Noir, which stands for black. Yeah. Oh, I think... Not it. That, that wasn't why, though, wasn't it? Yeah, about yeah. 20... <laughs> about 20... Uh, four and a half-ish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this game... It has its flaws, but it is definitely a unique piece, isn't it? It is. Yeah. If they make an Alien War 2, this is something they still do. Make more variation of more than making like, uh, oh, I don't know, 90% doubt? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really am going to put in a, I'm really going to need to put in a counter of how many there were. Yeah, for, uh, uh, I, here, here's a problem. It actually became a problem when the, the time games would be, if they were being truthful, maybe it must be being doubtful of them. You know I'm guilty. Is this a, uh, actually a very bad game design if you have so many doubts and lies uh, that you expect cast. them at every corner? Cole Phelps, Aaron Staten, Michael McGrady, and uh, this is going too fast for me to read. So I'm going to look through if there's any names I recognize. Probably not. There's just a fuck ton of actors, huh? Voice and uh, face actor, I guess you could call it, with the tech that they used for this game. 
but yeah sadly enough uh, the game didn't sell well enough to keep the <clears throat> to keep the studio afloat so if there is ever to be an LA Noir, it'll be by a different <clears throat> a different developer still probably Rockstar but probably a different uh, subsidiary I think that's the word yeah a different, a different developer Rockstar publishes it but for all intents and purposes, Team Bondi basically just ended after L.A. Noir came out because it was a massively badly run studio with an incredible amount of, like, crunch and stuff like that. Yeah. This might so, be one of the longest cast lines ever with this game, huh? Like, for every character, a different voice. Or a different you know, voice actor. To be fair, they were all for like their faces, so you know, yeah. facial motion capture. Oh god, you wouldn't admit that this game was also extremely expensive? Probably, yeah. yeah. So, oh uh, yeah, so even if it sold well, it, there, there's a problem of you want it to sell and go over the price that you paid to make it, in a way. Yeah, I'm not sure if Team Bondi was made just to make this game, but it makes sense to make a subsidiary to uh, take the blow if it doesn't go well. Still makes yeah, it a no, bit of a shit uh, move, but financially at least it yeah. makes sense. From what I can remember, Team Bondi was just already making L.A. Noir. They needed a publisher, they got Rockstar, but... Because of crunch and issues, they weren't able to completely finish the game. They got some rocks or had to send in people to help them. And then they finished that, but by the end of it all, Team Bondi just sort of ended. Either way, whether L.A. Noir came out or not. And then so, like 50 Rockstar... people just for side voices of the people walking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is definitely a gem I would recommend everyone to play through at least once. Even if you're yeah. probably not going to get like an even 5% of the lo have the timey references made. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's a good game. It's It has shown its age, one can tell, because the facial animation, well, really good. Kind of feels weird with how the character models are the regular, you know... Video game yeah, style character models. This is some of them look like a Ken doll a bit. Like Courtney's eyes. Courtney's Courtney's eyes look always like they were plastic, at best. Let's forget the one who looks like Walter. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Me yeah. Mr. Lemon. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that was Eleanor. Uh, this was fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it's been fun indeed. Yeah, we'll need to Even find also... a new game to call up with this. I, I very much doubt that uh, Liz would be able to stream during these times on Sundays because that's a work day for them, I believe. So we might need I to mean... shovel things a bit around. Yeah, I mean, if I remember correctly, I think she said that Mondays and Tuesdays she might have off. Or might be yeah. Monday. Do they, they all work extra now for, in preparation for the holidays. Yeah, yeah but which is also that... getting in the way of the multiplayer, but maybe we'll have to see. Maybe we can do it 50-50 uh, once the holidays are over. Like, one week we do multiplayer, the other week we do uh, cross uh, codes no, with them. Yeah, mm. we can do that. Anyways... We'll, uh, yeah, we'll always have this spot open anyways for other things. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Special thanks to all of us who supported us, our wives, husbands, girlfriends, boyfriends... Uh, affairs. Not going to mention those, of course. <laughs> and partners who helped us in this journey. Yeah. <laughs> Any affairs that have happened were not part of this, were not part of the plot, but may or may not have been involved in the writing. <laughs> and thus we get to the final part of the flashback. How about this for a headline? Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps? 
You didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge. Wife and kids in tow and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. You know, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Courtney is most cursed and a fucking idiot. Yeah, and he probably would have been executed if they had even told him, told anyone about the fact that he shot Phelps with intent to kill. I very <laughs> much think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a quick little peek. I will make one more note. Uh, okay, a bit sparse. Uh, there is a VR version of this game, which I will not be touching. But a fun little fact is, is that the main menu in that is up here in the same building. And you can see the text out on the wall here. So that's a nice little detail. <laughs> now, before Drakir falls asleep, I'm first off going to steal your two's hats, hats so you will still lose them in the game. <laughs> that's fine. I'm done with uh, okay. the detective. Okay, we'll see what we put instead. Yeah. And if, if you two, uh, well, if, if you're too tired to continue to care, feel free to just take your leave and I'll just go raid someone uh, of my own pick. But yeah. Uh, thank you, Rom and Drakir, you both, for joining me with this. It's definitely been a journey, huh? <laughs> yeah, it has been. That's been quite a journey. And I think I will take up, uh, you up on that offer. Thank yeah. you all for joining. Sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls. This lizard <laughs> needs the bed. <laughs> yeah, have a good night, so, yeah. here. I'm actually kind of tired myself. I'm going to go lay down for a bit, <laughs> have lunch, and I am really tired. You guys, have a good day, have a good night, and enjoy. Right. Sleep well. See you both later. See you later. Okay. <laughs> See ya. In the meantime, then, let me take a quick look through here. Uh, let's see. We have Jackson, but we read it them earlier. Last results on the line with Ratchet and Clank. Um, da, 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 da. I mean, nice. It's been a bit since we've raided them. But I think... Uh, let me double check. Is the sound... Is this thing muted? No, it's not. The one thing I forgot this freaking time. Okay. Let's go raid Lashris then. So, copy the name, head to our place, and slash rates. But before I continue on with that, let me check the chat for lurkers. Uh, none. Oh, well. <laughs> and it's, like, it's not like I'm making these videos, or streams and videos, for popularity anyways. But, yeah. We'll see what we do on Sundays from now on. 
probably just put in extra bits for the side quests. Maybe just take a rest. Like, I think we've deserved it by now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get that raid started. Let's get that raid started there. Okay. Thank you everyone who's watching now or later. And <laughs> again, thank you to both Yurkir and Rom for joining me with this. It would have been ha it wouldn't even have been half as fun on the, my own with this. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, on my own I would have stopped with streaming probably like a year and a half ago. And yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, thank you all again for watching and until next time, have a nice day and until then. Watch out for zombie seagulls.